see you later. Thank you. Hi. Hi. You're Hello, out uh, awfully early this morning. Yeah, real early. I just came from Mercy. Would you all excuse yourselves? We have something we need to discuss privately. Sure, what about? Amy, come on. Wanna sit down? Yeah. I can't believe it, and after all this time, too. You know, Amy, as usual, I don't have the faintest idea of what you're talking about. Unless he's barely out of town, and you know that even makes it worse. What makes what worse? What are you talking about? Her! Who, Leslie? Do you pay attention to anything at all? Not usually when you're talking, I don't. What? What, Amy? What's bugging you so much? What? Monica. What about Monica? Didn't, didn't you see her? She d deliberately pawing all over him. Will you calm down? She wasn't pawing all over him. They were just holding hands. That's good. They're good friends. Big deal. Well, they used to be a whole lot more than that. What do you mean a whole lot more than that? Rick and Monica what? Yes. Well, what were they? Lovers. You sure not making this up, Amy? Of course not. How could Rick do something like that? I'm sorry, I don't believe you. It's more than that. I mean, how could it be more than that? Because Rick was married to Leslie and Monica was married to Alan. And they cheated? Cheated? Monica got pregnant and for a while nobody knew who the father was, Rick or Alan. They had to have blood tests, and it proved that Alan was the father, so that stopped it between Rick and Monica. And now it started again. I don't believe it. You know, you know what I saw the other day? I saw Rick hold hands with Rose. You know what I like to do? I like to go run in and punch that guy's lights out, right? How could he do something like that to Leslie? I don't know. He's a jerk. I knew exactly what the report was. The minute you walked in, I could see it all over your face. I'm sorry. Oh, that sounds so inadequate, but I am. Rick, I'm very sorry. I wonder if I do that. What? When I have bad news to tell a patient, I wonder if they are able to see it all over my face before I've even been able to break it to them gently. Yeah, I've wondered that too. I just knew that when I saw the reports at Mercy, um, well, I had no choice. I just had to give it to you straight. You saw the angiogram report yourself? Yes, it confirmed all my suspicions and uh, pinpointed the exact location of the tumor. Well, that does it. That uh, gives me one choice, doesn't it? You're the best cardiologist I know. So you know the procedure, because you do it the best. Yes, I know the procedure very well, but when you're talking about yourself, the words don't come too easily to me. No, I'm sure they don't come easy at all. But then I know exactly what I'm facing. Open heart surgery. I think surgery should be done as soon as you can arrange this. I think I don't have any choice. When are you going to tell Leslie? Well, I am going to tell Leslie now, but just as soon as she gets back. Okay. And when are you going to have the surgery? Well, I have a few things I'll have to put in place, and, and soon, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, I have to go to work now. Well, she's not hurry. Uh, yeah, it is getting a bit late. Look, I hardly need to say this. Uh, every... Everything possible will be done, you know that. Well, let's just hope it's enough. What do you mean? I'm not going to deceive myself. I've done this procedure many times myself as a physician. I know exactly what can go wrong. And you have made them right. Remember that. Just believe that it will all be right this time. I'll try, Doctor. Good. I will be at the hospital. That's where I'm going. Uh, oh, no, I forgot. I have a, well, I have a lunch in with Celia. Uh, well, I'll... Uh... Yeah? I think I know how rough this is on you, and uh, thank you. It sounded hollow, didn't it? I, uh, no. Well, if that's it, this would sound hollow, too. It's all got to go right, Rick. Thanks. I'll, I'll talk to you later. 
any time. How could you do that? Well, what are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. You and Leslie had the greatest marriage around, man. The greatest. You guys are so honest with each other and everything. So? So? Don't play stupid with me. I know what's going on. All right? The minute she leaves town, you and you and Monica... That really stinks. I'm telling you that. Sit down, Blake. I don't want to... I said sit down. There's something you got to know. I didn't want to tell you before I had a chance to tell Leslie, but you don't leave me any option. I, I don't want you having some misconception about Monica and myself. I know. I'm... I'm sorry, man. I'm like such a jerk. Oh, don't feel that way. Your reaction was totally understandable. So you have, what, like a tumor on your heart? That's right. And that means you have to have open-heart surgery. You got it. What are the odds of, you know, I'm... Being okay and everything. And no physician can give you odds on this. This depends totally on what they find when they open me up. Well, when is that going to happen? Well, I got a few things I got to put in order. And, uh... Well, then, can I help you with that? <laughs> Thanks. No, I, I, I got to get my will and. Yeah, there is one thing you could do. What's that? You name it, I'll do it. I don't want Mikey knowing he's too young. I don't want him to worry. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good idea. How about Leslie? Are you going to tell Leslie? Well, it wasn't the first I was going to have the operation while she was on vacation. She would have never gone. That's the main reason I didn't tell her. Rick? Yeah. I'm very, very sorry. I know there's something I should stay right and say right now, but I... I just can't make them come out. I'm scared. So am I. Work tonight. Uh, I'm not calling to tell my husband to make it. You all right, you say? No. Why, why did she go to work? I be here when you got home. I see. It's okay, isn't it? Mikey, it's more than okay. I... Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I made some tea, if you like a, a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, I'd love one. Thanks. You're okay. So, how'd your day go? You mean how'd my day go, considering what you found out, right? Yeah, you must have had a lot on your mind. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, but I, I got through the day just fine. Thanks. Couldn't have been too easy, though. It wasn't lucky, but I, uh, I learned something very important today. What's that? I'm facing very serious surgery, but all of a sudden, I realized there's a, a, a plus to this. How could there be a plus? It started with the fact that I'm a doctor, and not only am I a doctor, but my particular problem happens to be in my own specific field of medicine. Oh, yeah, the heart. The heart. And I thought of it first this morning when Monica came by to confirm the angiogram report. How often have I faced patients with the task of having to tell them that they have to have open heart surgery? I guess that's never too easy, is it? No, it's... Never easy, Blackie, but until now, I'd only considered part of it. I only understood my half, the doctor's half. This morning with Monica, I saw the other side of it. I, I saw a whole new side of hearing bad news, open-heart surgery. You follow what I'm trying to say? I think so. Good. Today at the hospital, it hit me all over again. I've dealt with so many patients, so many times I've dealt with them before, during, and after surgery. I've, 
I've seen their fear. I've seen their faces frozen with anticipation and worry. And thank God I've also been there so many times after surgery to tell them that uh, everything was a success, that they're going to be fine. That sure must be great, huh? That's the best part of medicine, I think. But until now, until now, Blackie, I never saw these things from, from their side. It was always from the doctor's side. And I don't think that any doctor, any man, can really understand the whole thing until they see it from both sides of the fence. And what side are you on? Well, I'm right there. I'm on both sides. And you know what this all adds up to, what it really means? Bottom line. What? means that when I get through this, I'll be a better doctor. And I'll be a better man.